Hey, what is going on guys? Right here. And today we have another package. Yes, back-to-back -back packages, separate days. Now this package, I've also been wearing for a while. I've also been waiting for a while. UPS, this is the package that actually UPS, um, they actually lost it. So, without any further ado, let's open it. Okay, this pull tab will, no be, will be no use for us. Or maybe, yeah. All right. Now this is a brand new old stock package. Bought it on eBay. Um, the amount of dollars was reasonable. I'm not gonna say it was too expensive, but it was reasonable. Uh, let's see. Message to Farlon 102. Thank you for your purchase. We look forward for your business again. It was only nine bucks. Pretty good. Free shipping. It's a brand new compact two button mouse for this right here. Hold on. I have this compact. Well, this is um not compact, just a Windows XP computer, which I'm trying to downgrade it to Windows 95. Still have to get some more parts. This is a really crappy keyboard. I really want to get a, at least an IBM Model M or an IBM keyboard. But we're first starting off with this, the compact model. So let's open it and see what's inside. This is supposed to be brand new. I don't want to destroy the box for this. It's already destroyed, but I just don't want to destroy it anymore. He did put tape over it. There we go. Now it does has its own all manuals, all drivers, floppy. If I'm yes, sorry. Here it is, pretty nice. We'll get to that in a minute. Next, we have the floppy for it, and of course, the basic three and a half inch floppy, which opens and closes. Pretty heavy, I don't know why. Um, some warranty, these manuals actually, they're gonna tell you what each button does. Two buttons, wow, a miracle. Now, let's see what else we have in here. We have just you have a program license agreement which I think nobody reads all this stuff anymore let's focus this oh we have more okay whatever nobody's gonna read those different languages I'm not assuming ah so hard to put it back in the box this is a brand new old stock though he did uh, claim to say it. I hope he wasn't lying. It was just old. Because it isn't original. Okay, let's leave the floppy out. Let's open this one up. Okay, so, get it out of here. It does look pretty new. Oh, one button. Let's click it. Hold on. Oh yeah, that's better. That's better than my old one. See, over here, it's my old one. This is a IBM model one. It's pretty good, but it's um, pretty crappy because it's already worn out. It came with a computer, so I just want to buy a brand new one. Oh, this one's much better. The feel to it. Well, today I'm just going to install the dryers for this, see if it works. And I'll get to you in a moment. Alright, so we have it installed and all the drivers are already up to date. We already installed the floppy drives. And here is the mouse. Now, just for a feel of it, it is pretty good. Uh, the buttons need a little bit hard to press except for this IBM one. I forgot to tell you guys, this one's an IBM mouse. I don't need it because it's black. My build is a white build. That's why I can show you the PC over here. You see down here, it's also white. So that's why I needed a white mouse. So for $10, this was not a bad deal for it. It was a compact. Um, I will be getting a, um, an IBM mouse, a white IBM mouse for $15, which is brand new sealed in package, not as this one, which is very, very messed up. Compact mouse, two buttons, 400 dots per inch. Wow! 
So anyways, if you guys want this mouse, just tell me and I'll like five bucks will give you for you five bucks if you're interested in these stuff because I'm not interested. It's black so I don't need it. I'm only interested in the white stuff. Don't take that. <laughs> don't <laughs> I know how many people are gonna say, Oh, you know, all those okay, I'm not gonna say it. This is a this is a pretty good black IBM mouse, I mean not gonna lie. It, it, clicks are uh, worn out because it has a little dot here. I don't know what that is. But if you guys are IBM fans, I mean, I could give you to your five bucks free shipping. This is not going to cost that much. But anyways, let's go on the internet and see how this mouse performs. I can tell that the, the rubbers are much better and the ball for it. You can tell it's brand new. See, I haven't washed it yet. But I'm not going to wash it. Oh, that smell of old, new. Oh, that's a good smell. Let's put it back in here. All right, go on the internet. This is connected to the internet somehow. Oh, that deep click. Oh, that's clicky. YouTube does not work with Windows XP if you guys are trying to figure out because the software Adobe Flash is too old. And if it does work, well, it does work, but it's just gonna give you about five frames per second, that's all. So we're just gonna look up some images. Uh, Just some images of YouTube. And there it is. Boom. You can now see YouTube. Oh bro. This is horrible. I need a better um I got a tripod. But yeah. Oh god, this tripod is horrible. If we go to um well we're not gonna be able to look at anything else than just this. Wow, this computer is really slow. Hold on, we'll get back to you in a second. Alright, there we go. Now we're just gonna go to more images. I don't know what YouTube we want is, but whatever. And there we go, we're on YouTube. Voila! This is a pretty simple mouse, but I'll be honest, the design of this and how the button clicks just makes me, um, just makes me feel so nice. And also, the clicky, 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 that little sound, not like these brand new ones. You can't hear it, but that's a, um, a Logitech brand new mouse. It's much, much dense to press. Feels like I'm in the 1990s back again, because this mouse was in the 1990s. So anyway, anyways, guys, if you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, like it. I really don't care. If you want to subscribe, subscribe to the channel. That's it.